Welcome back to Elements in Focus. I'm Grant Sullivan, Manager Advisor Operations with the Financial Enhancement Group, and always joining me, my partner in crime, good friend, and Director of Financial Planning for the Financial Enhancement Group, Aaron Rayum. Aaron, love doing these with you, my friend. Yes. Couldn't, couldn't, think, about, couldn't think about doing them with anybody else. These are awesome, and uh, I just enjoy the time that we get to spend together educating folks. Absolutely. And that's what we love to do is education. And so today we educate, uh, we're educating today specifically on legacy planning. And so for those of, that have been joining us for a long time in Elements and Focus, Aaron and I try to do our best to unwind our five critical elements. Um, well, we call them critical is these elements we've seen on essentially devastate financial plans. Um, and there's all kinds of little things that build up to uh, a plan getting unwound by these. And so we try to do our best to gently go through them and give you little nuggets of tidbits of information you can use to get yourself on track and to prevent that from happening. So in the legacy plan, I'm sorry, the big one here, and it's in legacy plan, and people go, wait a second, I thought that was a tax thing. So in legacy planning, what is a QCD, Aaron? Why do you want to use it, and how does it help in a legacy plan? Yeah, so a QCD stands for Qualified Charitable Donation. And so what that is, is it's a way to be able to gift a part of your required minimum distribution, lots of acronyms there, <laughs> uh, starting at age 70 and a half. And so today, we're in 2022, the required minimum distribution age is 72. However, you can start your QCD at 70 and a half. And yes, you have to wait until 70 and a half before that begins. So one of the benefits of doing the qualified charitable uh, distribution or donation is it uh, takes away from your required minimum distribution uh, balance over time. And so let's say you have a million dollar IRA, uh, you're 72 years old, and you're you're uh, entering into starting to take your required minimum distributions. Right now, you have to take out about 3.65% of that, and it gets increasingly more year over year as you age towards life expectancy. So on a million dollars, uh, $36,500 has to come out of the IRA that you would pay tax on. Well, maybe you don't have a need for that. Maybe your standard of living that Grant and I so often talk about is covered by Social Security and pension income. And so that's just an additional amount of money going on your tax return. One of the things you can do is gift a portion of that RMD up to $100,000. And so you could give all of that $36,500 directly to a charity. And so it could be a church, it could be a college, uh, it has to go to a 501c3, and it has to specifically be non-designated, meaning that Grant can't go to the hospital and say he wants the Grant Sullivan uh, Children's Wing. It's got to go to a non-designatory uh, general portion of the budget. And so what you do get is you don't pay income tax on that donation. So that $36,500 donation is not added as taxable income to your return. What you don't get is a deduction. And so it is not deducted as a tax deductible gift. It is just not produced as income. Um, so when it comes to legacy planning, what the help with is, is if you still have that IRA, uh, your future beneficiaries are going to have to start taking required minimum distributions, and that window has been condensed to a 10-year period of time. It used to be able to be stretched out over the beneficiary's life expectancy. That changed a few years ago. Now you have to take all of the, inher all of the IRA dollars from an inheritance out by the end of the 10th year. And so looking at a QCD and that strategy reduces what those future dollars could be. Um, and it helps from a tax planning standpoint, as you mentioned earlier as well. Absolutely. And for a lot of the families that Aaron and I serve, they're charitably inclined. Yes. And so leaving a legacy through a QCD to an organization that matters to you is ultra important. That's why we, we moved this and brought this down to legacy because often people only think of it from a tax perspective. But this is a legacy tool as well. So we have a lot of families that are very engaged in civil service projects. They're very engaged in universities, churches. And so they leave their legacy using this because, again, it's a, a more tax-efficient strategy than just pulling dollars out of the pocket they've already been taxed on. 
So that's here because there's a lot of momentum, a lot of tools that can be intertwined in our critical elements, and QCD is probably one of the most powerful there. One of the added benefits, too, and then we'll wrap up, is when you do the QCD, is you actually get to see that giving happen during life. And so that is uh, very fulfilling from that standpoint. Mm -hmm. And a lot of our families, as Grant mentioned, are very charitably inclined, and they, they are partnered with a lot of good charities, but a lot of times those assets pass after they're gone, and so they can't uh, usually see or feel the, the goodness of that uh, gift. And so the QCD allows that to happen while you're still living and you get the, you know, that sense of blessing from being able to give. Absolutely. And so if you're looking at a legacy strategy or a tax strategy, you don't feel like you have the optimal, efficient plan in place, please reach out to us, 800-928-4001. Uh, sign up with Brittany on a next steps meeting. It's fully complimentary. You'll get with one of our advisory team members, Aaron and myself, or one of our other great advisor team, our advisory team members. And we'll sit down and walk you through, is the QCD appropriate? Is your plan really um, pumping on all cylinders, et cetera? And if you want to ask questions, talk to, uh, talk to, or talk at, again, Aaron. Talk to FEG at yourlifeafterwork.com. I promise I'm going to get that right one day. <laughs> talk to FEG at yourlifeafterwork.com. And send us questions. We're more than happy to answer, answer simple ones. And if you're looking for other content, you can reach out to our website, yourlifeafterwork.com. Aaron, myself, Darren, Jamie, other team, uh, advisory team members have written articles, done content on these types of topics, other you know video segments like this, et cetera. Um, you can also tune into our rebranded uh, syndicated radio program, um, Your Retirement Playbook. It can be seen on any of the podcasting services listed below and any of the radio stations below as well. So thank you for spending time with us today on QCDs and legacy planning. We look forward to seeing you in the next one.